I wanted to briefly show you my remote copy synchronous long distance configuration and uh, I'll do a quick little failover for you to see how that works. So this is synchronous long distance, which means I have three three-par systems all connected. I have um, my A system here is using synchronous remote copy to my B system. And then my A system is also uh, set up to do asynchronous to the C system. Now it's the same remote copy group that's being replicated synchronously to B and asynchronous to C. Now there's also a backup async connection that goes from B to C. Okay, so that one remote copy group can exist on all three of these arrays. And we're going to go through a quick little failover. All right, so this is what it looks like. Here's my A system, my B system. And again, this is synchronous replication. And then my A system to my C system is asynchronous or periodic replication. Now you can't see the link that goes between uh, the B and C, but I can select links here and then you'll, you'll see that. Okay, so here's the async link as well. All right. So the first step is we're going to uh, stop remote copy on this group. So let's stop it. We're going to simulate a, a failover. So now remote copy is stopped. Let's refresh that and the failover thing here will light up. Okay, and it's ready. Okay, so now we can do a failover and it's going to ask us which side do we want to fail over. We can fail over to the B side or we can fail over to the async C side. We're going to fail over to the C side. This would be like if I lost my uh, both of these arrays. All right, so I'm going to pick the C system here, which is 62. All right, I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to start the remote copy group right away uh, because I want to show you how the roles change. And what's going to happen is this primary system, well, first of all, the state is going to go to failed or failover. And then the B system, 65 here, will temporarily go into primary reverse. Let me move this window here. We'll go to primary reverse as it sends its updates to C. Again, we're simulating that A has failed. We're going to fail over to C. B will send any updates from the synchronous uh, connection here to C. And then C will, once that uh, those updates have been received, will switch to primary reverse and it will async back to B. Hope I didn't lose you there. Okay, so we're going to see this failover. Again, 65 will go primary reverse first as it's sending its updates to C. And then 62 on my C system will switch to primary reverse and start async to the B system now. So just waiting for the failover to happen. Again, this is a lab system. Everything's slower for me. All right, so 62 is now primary reverse. So it's already gotten the updates from B to C. And now we'll start it. So you can see it here, right? So 62 is my C system. It's now primary reverse. We're in a failover mode, and 65 is now in secondary. So let's go ahead and start that. And then we're going to see an async job pop in here as C starts async replication to B. Oops. Refresh. So here's the async job again from my C, and I labeled all the volumes uh, three part junkie A on here, B on here, and C on here, just so I knew which volume was um, being used for synchronization. So we can see here that C is replicating as evidenced by the arrow. It's async replicating to the B system, right? And our B system is synced. Okay, primary reverse to secondary and sync. Okay, so now we can uh, recover, and by selecting recover, we're actually going to set up a second link that's going to be async from C to A. 
So then this whole configuration is going to change temporarily. It's going to be async from C to B and async from C to A until both units are in sync. So let's go to the couple. So this would simulate we're bringing A back online, right? So I'm not going to start the remote copy group again, um, just so we can see how these roles change, and then we'll, we'll start it. We should see another row copying sync job start here, and this will go secondary reverse here. So under source, it should say secondary reverse. Yeah, so secondary reverse. So it's going to be getting updates now, and it's in recover mode. It's going to be getting its updates. Once I click start, you'll see async established between the two here. Okay. So we're still running async between C and B. Let's start. There we go. So now C is brought up the second link. Here it is. So again, the C volume is the primary one that's being replicated. So it's taking a snapshot, sending it over here, and we're doing async from C to both B and to A. I haven't made any changes to the data, so this should be um, pretty quick. It looks like my session froze up here. They should both, okay, so they're both in sync now. All right, so now we've got C async replication to B and A, and they're both, everything's current and up to date. So now the next step would be to restore. So now I know that everything's in sync, I can restore my configuration so that A will now be primary, and it will be uh, replicating to B synchronously and back to C asynchronously, all right? So what's gonna happen when I click restore is it'll switch this back to primary after it gets the final updates from C switch this back to primary because it's going to be getting updates directly from C uh, through a snapshot exchange it's going to go really quick to sync up it, it, A is currently unaware of B C sees both of them but A doesn't see B so when it fails back over this is primary this secondary site is going to come up fast C will and then it'll take just a few seconds before the B comes back up as it does a data validation to make sure that A and B are back in C. It's like a fast sync. So let's go ahead and we'll click Restore. Again, no data has been changed, so it shouldn't take too long. Um, I'm going to go ahead and not check this and go ahead and let it all fail over so you can see how that works. And we can see we're doing a Restore job here. <coughs> This will go back to primary, and we can see the job level getting connected. Here's my synchronous line. Refresh. Remember, A and C will sync quickly. So now that's back up. And this will pop in here. Yeah, they're both in sync pretty quick. Okay. Sometimes I've seen it where A and C, because of the fail back to primary, happens really quick. And sometimes B takes just a few additional seconds while it does a data, data check. But in this case, everything came up uh, really quickly. So that's, that's great. Okay, so that's it for this demonstration. We did a failover from synchronous long distance uh, from my primary system to my async, uh, let that replicate to our B side, and then did a complete recover from there. Thanks a lot.